In this video, we'll learn to read time from analog and 24 hour digital clocks. 24 hour digital clocks. We know that digital clocks look like this. So they show time in digits, not like the analog clocks. So when we looked at the 12 hour one we had a.m and p.m so a.m for the morning and p.m for the afternoon and i've got the examples here from the previous video so they're given in a.m and p.m next to these i'll do the 24 hour digital clocks because these the 24 hour format we don't use a.m or p.m why as we said, that 24 hours in a full day. And with AM and PM, we needed to use them because we'd get from 12 at night up to 12 midday, there would be 12 hours. And then we'd start again at this point. So that two full circles, so we needed to differentiate between them two which one is in the morning which one is in the afternoon because just by looking at this clock do you know whether it's 12 midday or 12 midnight so you wouldn't know and that's why we add am and pm to make the difference clear between the morning and the afternoon whereas with 24 hour digital clocks we continue from that point up to 12 midday and then we continue with 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 and we come full circle at 12 midnight again. So we'll show what that means. So when it's 12 a.m. or 12 midnight how do we actually show that in the 24 hour format so this is the 12 hour format with am and pm and here i'll do the 24 hour format which doesn't have am or pm we just increase the numbers so 12 at midnight is shown like this in the 12 hour format in the 24 hour format is shown as 0000 so that's the start of the day of the new day midnight and that is what it means i don't need am or pm as i said before now 12 10 or 10 past 12 we show it as 0, 0, 10 that's zero, 00 in there suggests that it's early days early hours of the new day and then 1 a.m. zero one zero zero it means the same thing then we go to 8 a.m. 8 in the morning that is shown as zero eight zero zero so the clue is there with that zero really if you have that zero in front and you haven't got a.m. or p.m. it's a 24 hour clock and it's through this that you learn that it's actually eight because eight in the evening will be shown slightly different with a um, bigger number at the front so then we've got 12 p.m. which is 12 midday how do we show that in the 24 hour twelve zero zero because there is only one twelve zero zero and that's twelve midday. 
and then 325 right at 12 this is what happens after we've gone through all this and it's 12 midday we continue so 5 past 12 10 past 12 and so on and it's 13 now so one hour past 12 is actually 13 so then would be 14 15 so that is 3 15 25 and i don't need to write that it is pm because we've gone past 12 midday and it's more than three hours past midday so i don't need that and then we go to 6 35 right so after 12 we said we continue to count so it's six hours after 12 so that's going to be 12 and 6 gives me 18 18 35 that is 6 35 p.m and again eight o'clock so eight hours after 12 in the afternoon so we go 12 and 8 is 20 so we've got 20 45 and that's what it is so what is the maximum this can go and that time is 23:59. so that's 11 59 p.m 11 59 p.m it's in the 12 hour format one minute after and you get 12 a.m so you start again and whereas with this one minute after and you start with zero zero so there isn't a 24 effectively you start with zero zero let's have a look at and give a go converting between the two different formats so we've got the 12 hour format and the 24 hour one we've got 3 30 pm we'll try and convert that to the 24 hour format so what we said was different we would have no am or pm and we would work out if it's in the afternoon we continue counting from 12 so 1 p.m would be 13 2 p.m would be 14 3 p.m would be 15 so 12 at the 3 that's all you need to do so if you've reached that point where you are at 12 midday 12 midday and what is going to happen to get to 3 so you just add in 3 when you read p.m add those hours on top of the 12 so 12 at 3 is 15 15 30 so the minutes won't change and I don't need to write p.m. because 15 tells me it's three hours past that 12 midday and what about this 12 p.m. how do I write that in the 24 hour clock so 12 p.m. was that when we reach 12 noon or 12 midday and we write it in exactly the same way we don't need to add any hours or take away any hours 12 zero zero and how about 22 15 now just by looking at that it's a larger number than 12 so it's got to be in the afternoon or evening so how many hours past that um, before i added the numbers on top of 12 now i'm going to take away the 12 to see how many hours past that 12 midday it has been so 22 take away 12 gives me with 10 and it's 15 past and of course it's the afternoon and what is this zero 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 that's the start of a new day so it must be 
12 a.m. So have a look at converting some hours um, at home to read the time and if you've got in the 12 hour format change it to the 24 hour format or if you've got in the 24 hour format try working out what it is in the 12 hour format.